At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel If you're new, my name's Lisa S And if you're not, thank you so much for coming back So I'm sure you're a little bit confused It's been a few weeks since I've posted a barn update video But if you are new to my channel, let me just explain I show horses I have one right now that's retired And a pony that needs to retire And obviously one day my show horses will also need to retire So... We live on this big piece of land. We decided we wanted to build a barn and this started about a year and a half ago, but it took so long to get planning permission. So I want to say about a month and a half ago, we finally got all the permits we needed and we started building our dream barn. Last thing you guys saw was us putting the concrete slab in and since then I was gone in Kentucky for about two weeks. So I came back and there was like a structure here and then I left again and then I came back and it was an even more structure. And now it's been one more week since then. So we pretty much have a barn, but obviously they have to do all the electric stuff, all the walls, like that kind of stuff. But it is a building as you can see from the background. So, I just wanted to explain all that. I hope you enjoyed the video. You're gonna see it start to finish. Um, a lot of the videos my mom took, so it's just gonna be music over it. But stay towards the end, and I'm gonna be giving you a tour of what it looks like right now. Okay guys, I've been away in Kentucky for about 10 days and I've come home to kind of a barn. So this is like, you can see my house is right there. So when you walk out of my house from the basement, you'll walk into the tack room, but this will be the front of the barn. So the driveway will come over here. I'm not gonna walk out there because it's wet, but right here, which is full of water because of rain, will be our wash rack. And then we have our first stall on the right with a nice big window to look out to the fields. Then you keep coming and we have a bigger stall. Now we had to do this for our tack room. You'll see what I mean. Um, but this is a bigger stall. Once again, don't worry about this water. It's going to drain out. This one has two windows. So this will be Chino's eventually because he's the biggest. Third stall, normal size stall with a window that way. And the fourth stall has a window pointing there. And there you can see is the side of my house. That fence I showed you in the beginning. And then right in here this will be our tack room this is going to be the restroom in this little area and then there's also going to be a door to here and this is going to be like a little feed room so obviously we don't need a massive feed room because we're only going to have four horses at most but we're going to put in some built-in things in here and then we have this thing so we're going to have really high ceilings 
so they've had to put this there so they can put the main beam to start doing the roof which is what they're working on the next few days but i wanted to come out here and show you guys because like it is an actual barn now it is not just plans i can't even believe it oh my gosh and then they put this little bit of concrete out you can see that these are the back windows from the barn um i'm in chino stall currently but we had this little slab put here because my parents are going to put some chairs and stuff out here so you can sit out and watch the sunset or the sunrise or something and the horses can look out with them it's crazy okay guys i just got back from kentucky so i'm filming on my phone but i wanted to show you a little update we have the kind of like structure of a roof you can't even see from where i'm standing hold on wow so as you can see they've done this bit but they still have this front bit that's going to come out to cover this whole porch area and obviously they have to like fill it in and like put the actual roof part up but it is taking shape here's from inside it's crazy <laughs> I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran was back where I began no We're under our back porch Looks out to the fields Pretty crazy I'm coming home. This is like the big stall well, I scratched in the dirt for the wall. I gained all that I Hey guys, so I'm standing in our future tack room right now. So this is our front porch, right? There's our house. So when you come out of the garage, you're gonna come straight to this porch, which will take you in through the tack room. We do have barn doors that are going in, but they're on the opposite side because the aisle goes the opposite way. That's just how we had to do it. Um, we currently have housing wrap, I believe it's called, my dad said. So basically this keeps it all waterproof for most part. But anyway, I'm gonna give you a little tour of what it looks like right now. You walk in, this is our tack room. Once again, like I said, the walls aren't filled in right now. It's just the structure, but it gives you an idea. So this is the tack room and this will be the door so we can come in through here. We will also have a little toilet and sink in here. So if you have to go to the bathroom, it's in the tack room. So you come out. All this stuff in the middle that you can see is structural stuff so that the workers can get up there, but all this will come down. So ignore that it's an aisle. But this will be our aisle way, as you can see. And this is the door to the tack room. So right next to the tack room, we're gonna have another door. We have this little tiny room. This is gonna be a feed room. So we'll have all kinds of storage in here to put grains and stuff. And then next to this, or next to the feed room, this is gonna be our wash rack. Now, this is full of water right now because of the rain before we had a roof, which you can see we now have one. Um, so this will get drained out eventually, but this will be a wash rack. There's gonna be drains and everything there, hoses, all that kind of stuff. Then you turn this way, we have our first stall. This is 12 by 12. And then we have our next stall, now this stall is 12 by 14. And the reason we have one big stall is because to have a tack room, we had to make it this way. You see what I mean? To have the tack room and feed room, it has to equal over here. But that works for us anyway, cause Chino's a big horse. So eventually when he comes home, this will be his stall. And if you wanna see all these windows that the horses have on this side, they get to look out to the field 
and we also have a back porch that's gonna be done at some point. So you can sit out here and look out and that's where all our pastures will be. Chino's future stall. I keep getting questions asking like, am I building a ring? How am I gonna ride my horses? The only horses I have coming back here when it's done is Angelo, who is retired, and my pony Patton, who's a lesson pony right now, who's also going to retire. So all my show horses are gonna stay at Windsor. They're not coming home, guys. Um, this is just a retired barn, so we will not have a ring because I do not need one. Next to the stall, we have another 12 by 12 stall that looks out there. And then we have one stall on this side. So now you can maybe gr get a feel for it. That we have the barn aisle this way, three stalls on the left, a wash rack, feed room, tack room, and one more stall on the right. And then, so you can see the ceilings on this side and that side are lower, but in the middle, they're super high. The ventilation system thing up here so that we get air coming through the barn if that makes sense so that it doesn't get too hot um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it took so long but hopefully it was worth the wait because the last time you guys saw there was nothing here and now it is a full blown barn but the next video what you can expect is to see the brick and stuff going outside the barn the roof going on and then the outside's pretty much getting to its final state and then we can work on the inside which is the main thing um which is why we needed to get all the roof and stuff on so that when it rains the workers can work inside uh because the outside's the biggest pain but i hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe down below and don't forget to go subscribe to my vlog channel it's just elisa's vlogs i will be posting on there more frequently so stay tuned for that and i'll see you all soon bye yeah. Two strong-minded individuals will happen when y'all both reach the pinnacle. Things start to get physical. What make it worse?